Hey guys, really quickly, I just want to say that I'm doing the Q&A soon, so leave any questions down below if you have any questions. But really quickly, this is going to be the Dominus and the new car comparison. So right there, that screenshot was uh, all the three cars lined up, the GT and everything. And here is the Dominus with its normal turning radius. So I left the tracks here and the new ice charger will be in the tracks right there and he's gonna have a very very similar turning radius I might say it's a little bit tighter than the Dominus is maybe just such a little difference but here you can see the boosting turning radius and it really um, <laughs> it's quite a big turning radius but in just a second you'll be able to see the ice charger come up and do the same turning radius and here it goes um, again very very similar not much of a difference so you can tell really that there's very little difference between the ice charger turning radius and the normal dominus turning radius but we'll go to the hitboxes so first here we're looking at them on the bottom of the car and you can see the ice chargers very into the ground and here on the front again it is very into the ground so overall you can say the ice chargers hitbox is um, a little bit different than the actual car shape which I'm not too happy about but as per usual we're gonna get into some gameplay and that was really the main comparisons and we're gonna see me play with the Dominus and the Ice Charger in game now and the gameplay is already running up in the Dominus but uh, really quickly I just wanna say so leave any questions down below for the Q&A it's gonna be coming out soon and uh, the montage is coming out soon and the player game will be very shortly as well but uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one so basically what I'm doing is, I'm sure I've said this already too, sorry about that, is I'm going to play a game in the Dominus and play a game in the Ice Charger as I usually do. Just so you can see a little comparison in my gameplay. Um, hopefully it's not completely trash, but we'll see. Anyone else from Renning? But um, I was trying to work on my uh, microphone and so it doesn't pick up my keyboard as much, but it, it's still just incredibly hard to do. Um, it would have been brilliant if my teammate would have touched that, but it's okay. Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter if we win or lose here. It's a non-ranked, because I didn't really want to play ranked in the Ice Charger. But we'll see how this game goes, if it's going to be in the video or not. Obviously, you guys will know. Yeah. Alright. But basically, um, the big thing about the ice charge is they, for very similar, well, not very similar, but a different looking car, they really made the hitboxes quite uh, similar. So in the ice charger, it, I feel like it's the same exact hitbox, and it when you put them in the ground, they look about the same exact size. It actually looks like the ice charger might be a little bit smaller in length, which is really weird because, well it's so much longer visually and the other thing it's narrower but it, it it's got a wider hitbox than it seems it's so it's a it's an interesting car I don't know why they just didn't make a whole new hitbox for it that actually outlines the car but I don't know if they were just trying to make a cheaper Dominus in a way or something like that so because the normal Dominus is uh, I believe is it like three dollars or so compared to the ice charger being I don't know. I don't know the exact prices. Um, but, altogether, I do like my Dominus more than my uh, Ice Charger. Maybe it's because I'm quite not used to it, but I think the whole visual part throws me off that I can't see, basically, I can see the front and see my car hitting the ball in the front and it doesn't hit. I think that's the, uh, the big problem. But there we go, we got a goal. I mean, I'm not playing the absolute best that I could be, but it's another reason why we're in unranked at the moment. Um, so, a little bit about my channel right now is um, the giveaway winners, I've contacted all of them. Um, so, basically you should check your emails to make sure you don't have an email from me. And it is the email that you uh, went through Gleam with 
that's the email that I got to see, and that's the email that I emailed. Basically, I, I asked the winners to send me what console they're on and stuff, and if they won the keys, I'd just send them the code. Um, there's already one winner that has received their keys already, so it's already off to a good start. They got right back to me on it, which was very good. Um, and then the other thing is, uh, I might have said this early on in the video, but we're going to do the Q&A. So if you have any other questions, just drop them down in the comments so I can put them in the video. And that's that's basically it. I mean, the Q&A is coming out soon. The montage is still in, in the works. Sorry about that being so late. We kind of just jumped subscribers really quickly. We went from 9,000 to 10,000 really quick, and then we went from 10,000 to 11,000 really quick. So wasn't quite ready for that. I'm sorry about it. I didn't really expect it. <laughs> but thank you for all the support and stuff. You know, it's really crazy that we're already pretty much at 11,000, and it's been... I don't even think it's been a month since we got 10,000. I don't even think it's been a, like two weeks. It's ridiculous. You guys are being really awesome right now with all the following. Uh, we had the Twitch stream a couple days ago where we got hosted and we had over like, I think, 300 viewers at once, which was pretty crazy. Um, but uh, there'll be some more streams soon and the subscriber game will be soon as well. And I think that's that's all my really like what's gonna be going on in my channel. Um, basically, this game's gonna be over soon, maybe unless I can you know not suck or my teammate can score this. Yeah, good. There we go. Um, as per usual, when I record, I always forget to bring water up here, so I'm always thirsty. It's wonderful. But um, other exciting news, I guess uh, I'm champion right now in twos, so getting up there maybe I'll put out some gameplay videos and stuff of like that if you want to see it um, there might be some players unknown battleground video coming out uh, you know it's a new game and I really enjoyed it I used to enjoy playing H1 a lot and now I, I really enjoy this much more okay he was just gonna let that go oh okay okay good teammate he's got that all right I guess this game's going into overtime. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Wait. Okay. He's going to take the shot really quickly. I don't know. He keeps on trying to talk. That time I heard him. He sounds laggy. That did not do what I wanted it to do. There we go. I think he's lagging to shit right now. It's a good pass for being laggy. I just didn't expect him to do it. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So I think he was just lagging a little bit. Just slowly. Yeah. No. He's definitely. He's definitely lagging. It's not his fault. It's whatever. It's unranked. It really doesn't matter. I don't know why they've got to be assholes and say what a save, but it's okay. Um, okay. So I'll be right back with the ice charger. Alright, well, we're in the next game, and oh, I thought we had the same person as the last game, but uh, we're in the Ice Charger on this wonderful, wonderful map that they made so much darker, which I, I absolutely hate, because I hate dark maps, but um, I wonderfully missed that boost, and they're going to score there. Yep, <laughs> that was my fault, but uh, we're here in the Ice Charger. Um, I know you guys really liked my purple loadout from before, but I have this new uh, loadout, basically, that's... Uh, using the Alpha Hat, which I felt like I should use because I do own it, and it's generally, I mean, it wasn't so expensive when I got it, but now it's more expensive, so <laughs> I guess I like wearing it. Uh, um, but, I, I don't know, I wish I can do both loadouts and just have the game randomly pick which one it's going to put on, but I can't, unfortunately, so I, I pretty much just switch between them. Nice fake out teammate. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but if it was. Okay. So, I've seen since this update to get a ton more Aqua Dome than I've ever gotten before. I don't know if anyone else has, but like, I <laughs> I mean, maybe it's because I don't have it disliked, because. Oh, I was coming to help him out. It's alright. Confusion. Good thing he didn't touch that. So, 
So, um, I mean, this I showed you, I like it, and I play, you know, I play decent in it because I know it's the same hitbox as the Dominus, being realistic, but it just, it, it throws me off and there's no reason if it's the same hitbox, I mean, the turning radius, I mean, it may be a little sharper in this car, it's hard to tell, but it'd be, it's a very minimalistic difference. So, well, that's, that's going in. <laughs> that's great. Wonderful pinch. Um, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Originally, when I saw the Ice Charger, I thought, you know, they're going to make this nice car. It looked really good because it looked really high. And it also looked longer. So it looked like a good car with a Dominus front. It looked like they were trying another, like, Dominus Octane mix. And I thought they were going to actually do it good. But no, they just gave it the Dominus hitbox. And uh, called it a day. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Not very happy about that. I don't know. To me, in the trailer, the car looked a lot taller than it than it is. But I guess I guess it's not. <laughs> it's deceiving. Just gonna hit that up. Oh no, it's not. Okay, keep, keep it. just relax, but oh, why does he have to be there? That was depressing what he gets. Gets a little bump after. Come on, teammate, you got that. Yeah, nice shot. There we go. So, um... There we go. That was good by my teammate. Good shit. Yes, a nice shot. There we go. Um... Let's see. Oh, yeah, the other thing is I believe I mentioned in one of my videos that I was playing in that semi-pro market tournament. I don't know, you guys might have heard about it from if you watch, uh... What's his name? Campaign Rush, I believe it is, or something like that. It does he does the Rocket League videos? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, he's on the te team Wheel Shakers, uh, and we were both playing in it. Uh, unfortunately, I got eliminated to uh, a team called Nova and another team called Re Remoke. No, something else. Oh no, it's Reforce. I believe they're Reforce Esports. Um, Nova ended up going through in the winner's bracket, and Reforce ended up beating uh, another really good team called Spectrum, and then losing to, I believe, Iris. So, if you guys know much about the pro scene, pro scene you'll know that Iris is um, Squishy Muffins, and uh, who is that? I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm pretty decent with the pro scene, but I don't know everyone's name. Uh... Lichino. It's got Squishy Muffins, Lichino, and oh, I don't know their third at all. But. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I do like my plan of attack there. Missed the ball, so I'll go for the ram. Uh, where's my teammate? Okay, he's right there. I can't, I can't lose both these games. Oh no. <laughs> there was no there was no getting out of that. I had no boost. <laughs> I was just falling right on the ball after I went for it. Okay. Oh, he missed the ball. Alright. Let's see, so we got thirty seconds left to score another goal. Let's try to nope. Didn't put up the wall right. I don't have boost to get there either. Okay. Well that was not a very good go. I'm probably being a little bit of a ball chaser, but that's because it's unranked and I'm trying to test out the car. <laughs> but, um, so basically this is the end of the video here, because we're about to lose. Um, so overall, I do like the Dominus more, the Ice Charger, I feel like they just messed up with the hitbox a lot. And, you know, I'm very unhappy that they did that and just didn't make a new hitbox. Um, it's really not too complicated, I guess, for them, but... Oh, Turbo Crate. Um, but besides from that, uh, if you don't want to buy the, the Dominus, you can go for the Ice Charger. It's still a really good car. It just has a lot of shadow hits right in the front here and a lot in the back. Just missing a lot of the car and hitbox-wise. Overall, it's pretty solid, though, and um, definitely worth the buy. Um, I like the car. I like the, the details to it. Um, 
that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys in the, enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more of these like comparison videos, exactly how I did this one, I'll do more. Just let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget about the Q&A questions. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Epic Clips, and I'll see you guys in the next one.